Ladies and gentlemen, today we have first impressions to do. Everybody knows that I love first impressions. It is coming from the house of Hugo Boss. It is their newest release, like literally brand spanking new. It is Hugo Boss Descent Elixir. Did you know that this was even out? Because it just popped up randomly one day and I thought, man, I'm ordering that. Let's dive into it. good YouTube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel my name is Mikey Cologne and I want to thank everybody for tuning in today that's it come in take a seat put your feet up I won't take up too much of your time I know everybody is busy so this will be short and sweet well I hope so anyway but if you enjoy my content and you're stopping by for the first time hit that subscribe button it is completely free and if you do Press the bell because it will let you know when I drop a review for next time. That is right. A brand spanking new release from the house of Hugo Boss. This is Hugo Boss Descent Elixir. Literally fresh out the gate. We're going to do first impressions. But before I get going, let me know which one out of the scent lineup you enjoy. I've got the scent Private Accord, and that is a great fragrance. And there is quite a few other flankers. I've smelt a couple of them. I don't own all of them. But today we are here to speak about this one. If you have tried this, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. I would love to hear your thoughts. I really would. This is a 50 ml bottle. And it is Parfum Intense. Just a standard cardboard box, to be honest with you. The Elixir, hey? And there is your bottle. That is a really dark red. And obviously you have got... Where is it? Um... You got Boss Bottled Elixir, and now you have the Scent Elixir. This Elixir business has definitely got out of hand. There is no doubt about it. But I ain't gonna start going down that road today. We are here to smell this fragrance to see if it is any good, and to see if it is worth use lot purchasing it. Let me just show you. Let's prime that atomizer. Standard atomizer, really. Now we go on skin. Sweet. Sweet, fresh, a little bit aromatic. It's got that mainstream sweet DNA to it that you would find in a few other of the flankers in this lineup. I will not say bubblegummy sweet, but I'm not completely juvenile, but suited for a younger crowd, so to speak. A little bit aromatic. It's definitely got a nice bit of spice to it. A little bit of a woodsy undertone. It's a mass appealing, generic, fragrance or a daily fragrance it's a mass appealing generic dna daily wear for a male fresh spicy woodsy sweet and a little bit aromatic On test strip, it is a lot fresher than what it is on skin. On skin, there seems to be an underlining, or on skin, there seems to be an underlining warmth. Whereas on test strip, it's completely fresh, bright, soft, spicy on test strip. It's nice. 
don't get me wrong, it is a nice fragrance, but am I wowed by it? Definitely not. I ain't turning into no niche knob. If a fragrance is good, I'm going to say it's good. If it's crap, I'm going to say it's crap. Let's look up the notes. To me, it's just a little bit generic, you know. It's got that mainstream DNA to it, like, which these brands go for. Hence why they sell so much, and there's nothing wrong with that. But to me, I feel like it's been done before, and I'm not overly hyped about it. That's my honest opinion. First impressions, anyway. Right, three notes. We have red pepper, lavender, and sandalwood. To me, it's not really coming across smelling like lavender. It's just giving this fragrance that aromatic side. Definitely a little bit spicy up top, but I would say it is fresh spicy with a little bit of an underlining warmth, like I said, and then the sandalwood. Now, to me, at the minute, yeah, it's got a little bit of a creamy quality going on, but more woodsy than what it is creamy. I'm not really getting a lot of pencil shavings. Sometimes sandalwood can give off a pencil shavings aroma, or it can come across a bit dusty or creamy. Here it's a little bit creamy and woodsy. It does have a little bit of a fruity quality to it. Like, even though there's no citruses or fruits listed, because I believe in some of the fragrances in the scent lineup, there was maninka fruit. And I'm not saying this is maninka fruit, but this definitely does have a lurking fruity tone to the fragrance. It's a nice scent. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like... Let's go to Hugo Boss Bottled Elixir for a second. I thought this was a very good fragrance when I first sprayed it on. But the more I wore this, the more it grew on me and it became nearly into a love. Whereas this, I'm thinking, yeah, it's okay. Like a, a person, or right, I'll put it to you this way. A person that doesn't collect fragrances would be happy to have this fragrance in their collection. I think if you're starting your collection over... I think that the scent elixir would be a great fragrance to start with. But if you already have a big collection, I think you're going to smell this and you're going to think, hmm, that's generic. I've smelled it before. And like I say, that's my own personal opinion. I, I'm not hating on it. I don't think it smells bad because it doesn't. But to me, it's definitely not a wow. To me, it's just, yep, yeah, it's a nice fragrance. A grab and go. You can wear this to work. You can wear this to the office. You can wear this running chores. See, now it's, it is. That fresh quality is starting to calm down. And the fragrance is, it is starting to warm up. I think you can wear this going out for drinks. Like I say, out and about. Very versatile fragrance. So on that end of the spectrum, it's decent. The the aroma or the fragrance smells good. But I'm just not wowed by it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first impressions on the scent Elixir. Drop a comment down below if you have tried this fragrance. I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of it? Are you interested in trying it out? I'm going to say it again. If you're starting over, this would be a very good fragrance to pick up. And quickly, this has nothing to do with this review. I have a coupon code for Uniquey Luxury. It's a niche brand and they have given me a code for use lot to use. It's Mikey-Kute23. That will give you 15% off Uniquey Luxury's website. I don't earn no money out of this. This is not a sponsored review. It is just for use lot to use and to save yourself a little bit of dough. And I can use it as well. But like I say, I don't earn nothing out of it, so I'm not pushing it on you. If you're interested in Uniquey Luxury and you want to pick yourself up a fragrance off their website, put that code in. That will give you 15% off. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sticking with me. Remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers. Yeah.